Hi Sunflowers, so I had a few comments back from my last video and everybody was being really lovely and it really made my day. Um, and I did get a question from one of my friends um, from college before I left about my Tourette's. So I thought I could do a video about my Tourette's story. So a lot of people wonder why Tourette's start. Um, and there can be different reasons as to why. Um, but mine was just an onset Tourette's where I was having a seizure and I was in the hallway and my mum and girlfriend were trying to make sure that I was all right and I was very close to a radiator and my head kept jerking backwards whilst I was having my seizure, um, having neck tics starting off and then all of a sudden I started to do the rock on sign like this and I kept going like that every time until I ended up saying rock on and that's when my tics became verbal. So from that moment onwards, for the rest of the evening, I was non-stop ticking. I couldn't stop talking. I was swearing. I was talking a lot about my past trauma that I've had and getting it all off my chest. And it felt like I was this Coke bottle that had just been filling up over time and time. And suddenly it was had been shaken over years and the cap has just come off slightly and it all came out. Um, which afterwards felt really good, but during it was super scary because I'd never experienced anything like that before. And being a performer, being in control of my own words is something that I'm normally really good at. Like when I'm taking these videos, I'm so concentrated on what I'm doing that they don't seem to come out that often. So you probably don't see much of it or won't see much of it on my videos unless they're specific tick challenges like holding flour and seeing how long I can hold an egg or doing the alphabet challenge. So things like that can be happening in the future, hopefully on this channel. Um, but yeah, this is how it started for me. So I found out recently that I can't be fully diagnosed with Tourette's until I've had it for a whole year, which to me is ridiculous because if you're struggling and you don't have any other condition, and you're suffering with Tourette's, you have to wait a whole year of going through that pain and that frustration that's inside of your head to then have it recognised as being, okay, yes, now you do have it. Whereas I don't think you should have to have a problem for such a long period of time for it to be recognised. So I have bought these badges in the past offline from an Etsy shop. Um, and I have one that says, hello, I have an invisible disability. Hello, I am asthmatic. And then I decided to get one that says I have Tourette's once I started to be speaking. Um, now, a lot of people think that Tourette's are just swearing, but my Tourette's are actually quite complimentary, um, apart from when they're to myself. So because I've always struggled with um, my body issues, and looking at myself in a good light, I suppose, um, due to my depression, I compliment everyone around me because I want them to feel good. So I'll constantly be saying things like, wow, I love what you're wearing, or um, hope you have a nice day, or certain things like that. Um, especially when I go into the pharmacy to go and collect my prescriptions, I give them a big round of a clap like I'm doing an NHS clap and they all look at me quite funny, but, it's just to show people how I appreciate them. Whereas I find that my tics are quite a scary thing for myself when I'm at home. Um, they normally come out when I'm excited, but if I'm really low at a point, I can't go into the kitchen by myself. So I have to be supervised over lots of things at the moment. I can't go in the bath by myself um, due to mental health reasons um, and lots of different problems. And I recently just started going back into the kitchen after kind of having it as a no-go zone um, since coming out of hospital. And I was cutting up a pizza and as soon as I'd finished cutting it up, I wiped it clean, everything was fine. And I was about to pick up my pizza and take it into the living room when I picked up the pizza cutter in my hand like this. And I obviously had to shout for help. I do have an alarm which I think is a really good and important thing to have if you're having any type of problems with your disabilities or if you have seizures or non-epileptic seizures like me. 
um, that it just helps call for people. So there's a button, it was just off Amazon, there's a button that you press twice for it to go off and it's super loud so my mum can hear me from the garden to the kitchen which is our furthest radius in this house um, or you can pull it out like a grenade sort of thing and it'll set it off I'm not going to show it on here because it is absolutely terrifying and my mum will run through the doors thinking I've done something or something's wrong um, but that's also a really good handful thing to have with you if you are suffering with any sort of seizures um, so since my Tourette started, I had to obviously inform my doctor and she was really helpful with it all and obviously because it hasn't been diagnosed, I couldn't be put on proper Tourette's medicine. So I've been given some medication which is clonazepam, which is a calming sedative-like um, tablet that I take twice in the morning and once in the afternoon and it just kind of helps me keep control of my Tourette's. So a lot of people also ask, are your Tourette's what you're thinking? And to be honest, sometimes they are. So when it comes to when they're to do with myself, yes, that is how I'm feeling inside, but I don't let it out. But when it's it's so quick, even my mum says it's quick, it's literally like I don't even have the chance to think about it, it just comes straight out and sometimes I have no idea what's going on. So mum drove past um, a certain car while we were driving to my granddad's to go and make sure he was okay and I suddenly shouted out Bond, James Bond and mum was like what? And then I realised that I looked over and the number plate on a car had the same letters that would be in James Bond and how my brain just picked that up so quickly. So not all Tourette's are really what you're thinking. So don't ever become like, I don't know, don't ever mean think that they're hurtful because they're not meant to be that way. I never mean to say the things that I do. And I know sometimes I can swear and be jokey with my mum about everything but there, it's really frustrating for people who are suffering with it. So please just try and keep it as a lighthearted thing. So I know for me especially that if people are laughing, then I know that I'm okay because they they understand it and, it. and it is something to be funny at times, but there are times when Tourette's can be really horrible and I can be stuck in a position with my head jerking back, giving myself whiplash um, whilst I'm trying to get these words out and I just can't get them out because my tics are so bad that I have to um, now do BSL sign language so that she can understand what I'm trying to ask for or if I can turn the light off and all those sort of things. Um, so yeah, I have onset Tourette's, I believe. It'll be properly diagnosed in 2021 at some point if it ever happens it just feels like this year is going on forever doesn't it but um i hopefully be diagnosed with that at some point um yeah i'm playing with a poo pool noodle i'm not really sure why <laughs> ignore that um but yeah i think the reason that my Tourette started is because i was suppressing so many emotions and feelings and i did always suppress these emotions into my stomach so i'd always get really bad tummy aches and like a knot in my stomach had been tied up when i was feeling scared or when i was feeling under pressure and we thought that to be um, obviously eating problems and problems with my stomach and actually your body can hold any amount of emotion so mine just happened to be that the place where all my emotions went to was my stomach which is why I used to comfort eat um, and I'm obviously not a skinny girl I'm quite a chunky sized girl um, and I'm trying to get away from that comfort eating and just letting it out verbally instead and it has been a huge reliever um my seizures have lessened a lot since having the Tourette's um as I'm more likely to have a tic attack now rather than a seizure but they can always mix as well so I hope that answered some of your questions um Kelsey um, but this is basically my Tourette story so far, but I'm going to keep you up to date with stuff and hopefully do some silly challenges just to keep everything a bit light hearted. Um, I hope you're all doing well. Bye sunflowers.